um, is actually a weird stress strain curve. Most of the yield regions have a lot less of steep of a curve. curve. Um, and this is skin, and I kind of even words me out. But different materials have different stress strain curves. You know, they behave differently. Uh, and so, no, we're just saying that the first port linear portion, that's the elastic portion, then, then the, the next portion is, we'll call it the yielding region, okay? So even though this one has different slopes uh, than we're used to, the first portion of it is the elastic region, the next portion is right here. All right, so let us find the modulus of elasticity. So this is really a, a question on can you define, can, what's, what are the definitions? Modulus of elasticity is E, is the slope of the elastic curve. Slope is rise over run. So this is 5.5. I need units, got to have units. This was 11 PSI. This is inch per inch. It's really unitless. This is still PSI. This is still PSI. All right, so there's a modulus of elasticity. Modulus of toughness. That is U subscript T. That is the area under the whole uh, curve. And then modulus of resilience is just the area under the, the, the elastic region. Let me calculate modulus of resilience first in pink u of resilience is the area under there and it's a triangle area of a triangle one half base let's let me put my units in here one half base times height 11 psi uh so that would be 11 units psi that is u r that is u r Modulus of toughness would be this that I just calculated and that right there, right? The area under the whole curve. So this would be, let me go ahead and I already calculated that area under the elastic region is 11. And then how do you like to do trapezoids, area of a trapezoid? You can think of it as a rectangle with a triangle on top of it, or I like to just take the average right the average of the top and bottom and then pretend like it's a rectangle at that average height that makes sense and so i i, I do um 11 and 55 and take the average of that so that's the height of the rectangle the base of the re rectangle it goes from 2 to 2.25 so 0.25 and this would be 19.25 PSI is U toughness. So I did those out of order. Make sure you, you know, we're answering the correct question. 